Hi everybody, it's Xing. So today I'm gonna show you my brand new racket and so let's begin. I'm gonna be honest with you here, um, I didn't really want to change my racket but a sudden event made it so clear to me that I had to switch and if uh, you've been watching a lot of my reviews you probably know which racket. So I'm gonna present this racket and then I'm gonna go through my racket journey so that you understand why I've decided to make uh, this switch. So here we go with my new racket. So my new racket is now the Battle of Pure Strike 100 2024 and yeah I didn't really expect to switch to this one. So how I became addicted to this racket to the point where I couldn't really play with any other racket um, is really weird. So uh, I was planning to try obviously the new uh, strike, the 16x19, the 18x20, the 100, whatever. Um, but I wasn't really that much hype about this racket because I really enjoyed the first generation, especially the 18x20, but since then it was like kind of a mixed emotion and so when I headed into this review I was kind of uh, just demoing this racket for you guys and you know sometimes I'm doing reviews just for uh, you know doing a reviews but it's not in terms of me really considering to switch to this racket and so this review was supposed to be uh, this way. So a coach had this racket uh, uh, you know he was demoing this racket for fun and so I asked him if I could uh, take this racket just to play it for fun and so he said yes and uh, I entered a game after one of my players was injured during a practice so I was like okay I'm gonna play and I'm gonna take this racket and I was actually really surprised how good this racket was playing and since then I've made the review put it on my channel and then yeah, it was uh, becoming too clear to me that this racket was perfect for uh, my style. So, um, if you're not familiar with my level of play, uh, I don't really know how to rate it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm coaching a uh, junior level player that are doing uh, provincial and national championship uh, here in Quebec. I live in Montreal. Um, so normally I play with those type of player. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my level. But I have a big issue with my forehand. So my forehand is not that good. My backhand is a lot better. So I need a racket that's gonna provide the control on my backhand that I need to just be aggressive like I want to. But I also need a racket that's gonna help me to generate a bit more with my forehand. And normally I tend to gravitate towards more um, control oriented racket and so you're gonna see my racket journey but um, yeah this one was really good because uh, I like the control factor of the strike family but at the same time you have the power from the 100 square inch and you also have the maneuverability of the 300 gram on strong weight uh, but normally a racket with this weight is not really that much stable uh, but with this one I don't know it feels just really stable and so I didn't have anything on this one normally I was adding a leather grip a bit of weight and all that stuff but you know I really decided to stay uh, really uh, basic with this racket I don't want to put any customization all that stuff I just put this racket put my over grip on it um, put my cyclone uh, at 52 pounds and that's pretty much it but I've also made another purchase and this racket is not really my racket but it's a racket that I will be using just for fun uh, and that I was really excited to try and so I also bought a Pure Strike VS this is not the newest model but yeah first of all this racket looks so clean and yeah I, I was just tempted by this model and so I was like yeah let's buy a racket that's gonna provide a lot of control and that's gonna be a bit heavier and a bit tougher to play with but honestly this racket is just for fun you know my real racket is gonna be uh, this one I just bought one for now but I will obviously uh, buy uh, another one for sure so to understand my choice we have to go into my racket journey and I've made a video about the what's in my bag video where I explain it a bit uh, but I want, I, I, I want to go a bit more into details and so let's go. So my second adult racket was this one that, that was the first 
real racket that I had. It's the Wilson 97 LS. And so I've played with this racket for like five years and I was like all about pro stuff. Uh, I, I, I've demoed so much racket before buying this one. And so that's where my love for gear comes from. And so I was so sure that this one was my racket that I, I didn't have any uh, intention of switching. But the only problem with this one, it's a 290 on strong weight. And the next one was the 97. And so the 97 was 315 grams. So it was a bit too much. So I started to upgrade it with a bit more of lead tape to a 305, 310. But I, I felt like it was the time to switch. And so that's when I started my journey to find a new racket. And my goal was really clear. I really wanted to have a racket that's gonna give a lot of control and only control. I, I really wanted a racket where I could like swim as hard as I can and not really worry about where the ball would land. And so finally my final take was this one, the Head Prestige Pro, the perfect control racket. Um, and I was really happy to it. The only issue that this racket provide, it was so tough because of the 95 square inch head size. Uh, didn't have a lot of power and create me a, a technical issue because the launch angle is really low so I was really swinging this way with this racket and so when I realized this I was like yeah maybe this one is a bit too hard to play with uh, for, for my level. For my back end it was perfect because I could hit as hard as I can but I don't have a big serve and I don't have a big forehand so I can't really go with this one. Um, if my forehand was as good as my back end, I would probably have stick to it. But I would say eight to ten months into it, I had to make the switch. And so I really wanted something a bit more easy, but still in the control oriented section. And so I went with this Wilson Blade V8 16 by 19. And I know it may sound weird, and maybe some of you guys will understand what I'm what I'm saying, but when I switched to this racket, I was like, am I really switching to a racket that everybody uses? Because like, you know, this one is really tough to play with, so not a lot of people are using it, but this one is pretty average. And I was like, yeah, I will play with it. The only issue that I had with this racket was providing a lot of control and all that stuff, but was lacking a lot of stability and a lot of swing weight. And so once I've demoed this C10 EVO, I was in shock. This racket was really stable, offering a lot of control. And so I had to switch. It feels like a blade, but you have this different feeling that helps you to create a bit more power. And I remember switching to this racket, thinking that this racket is so powerful and I'm not used to it. Um, but I became used to it and you will see a trend here. I felt like it was a bit too tough to play in games and I was losing games that I shouldn't because of, not because of my racket, but I felt like I could have a bit more help from my racket. And so once I demoed this uh, V-Cell 10, 320 gram, I was really like in shock because I really enjoyed this racket, but I didn't really want it to buy it. So I stick to this one, but an opportunity, an opportunity, an opportunity came uh, for me to have those racket. Uh, but those rackets are heavily customized, so they are like 340 grams. So keep in mind, I know that I've made a video about me switching to those rackets, but are, they weren't really my real racket. I was still playing with those one. This was a bit like, like this one, you know, was just for, for fun, you know. Um, so it was time to switch. Uh, it's been a year and a half that I've been playing or more, even two years that I've been playing. With those rackets so that's why i've made this switch i think it's the end of the constant uh, trend that i've been putting up since a couple of years because i was searching for control and then went backwards to have a bit more power but i think now we're reaching uh the the end of it you know i think that you know this one is is a bit control oriented but still powerful uh, and I'm going back to, and I don't feel really this way this time, but I'm going back to racket that where I'm looking at review and people saying like, oh, this racket is made for intermediate beginner player. And I'm like, 
why am I enjoying this racket? But uh, yeah, I don't really mind that. The only thing that matters is uh, if I like the racket or not. So that's it for the video. Hope you have liked it. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. And see you next time. Bye bye.